Okay. As an example, we have here our DNA template. And remember, our DNA is in the nucleus. It holds our codes for making proteins. But our proteins are made in the ribosomes. Our ribosomes are out in the cytoplasm or out attached to the rough ER. So it's gonna, our DNA is going to use a messenger RNA, mRNA messenger, to carry that message with that code from the DNA in the nucleus out to those ribosomes. Okay. And we need to remember when we're doing RNA that there are no T's in RNA. Okay. So if we have a T in our DNA, T is going to attach to A. A, there's no T, so this time it's going to be a U. A is going to attach to a U. C with G. G with C. C with G. C with G. T will go to an A. A to a U. G to C. G to C, C to G, and G to a C. Okay, so these are our codons. This is carrying that code from our DNA out to our ribosomes. So these are called codons, mRNA codons. And we're going to take our codons to the codon wheel. And it's going to tell us which amino acids we need. So if our mRNA, mRNA is our codon. That's what we take to our codon wheel or our codon table. If we have bases A, U, G, and we look at our table here, we have A, so it's going to be in this row, U, so it's going to be in this box right here, and it was A, U, G, so we follow G over, it's M, E, T, methionine, okay? So M, E, T will be our, amino, our first amino acid. A, U, G is going to go for methionine, so we're going to write it down. This will be a peptide bond. Going to our next amino acid, which is coded for by C, G, G. So we'll take our C, so it's going to be in this part, G, which is right here, so it's going to be right here in this box, and then G. So arginine would be our next one, A, R, G. A, R, G, and then it's going to have a peptide bond, joining it to the next one. Okay, our next one's coded for... A U C is our next codon on our mRNA. So A U C. Okay, so I got an A. And then U is right here, so it's going to be in this box right here. And then C is right here, the second one. So it's isoleucine, I L E, will be our next amino acid. So I L E, isoleucine. And then it's going to be held by a peptide bond to our next one that's coded for by the basis CGC. Okay, so we go back to our table. We have C, so it's going to be in this row. And then we had a G, so it's going to be over here in this box. And then G again, so it's our C again, so it's right here. Arginine will be our next one. So A R G. Now we have a string of amino acids. We have Methionine, which is our start codon. AUG, remember, is our start codon, so it tells us that's where we start making our protein. Because school starts in August, AUG is our start. So this is where we start our protein with methionine, arginine, isoleucine, and another arginine. So this would be our string of amino acids. These are our amino acids. And when we string them together, we hold them with polypeptide bonds. It's called a polypeptide. And a big, long polypeptide... It's a protein, and it says the order of those amino acids determine the shape of that protein, and that determines the function of the protein. Okay, so this would be the message that goes to the ribosomes, and then we have to use our tow truck to go out and pick up that methionine and that arginine and that isoleucine and that arginine again. Our tRNA is that tow truck, and it's going to go out into the cytoplasm and pick up these amino acids that were just coded for by the mRNA. It knows which hook to use because it makes an anticodon from the mRNA up here. So if the mRNA was an A, then it's going to be a U for the tRNA. U would be A, and G would be C. So that would be the fir first hook that would go pick up the methionine. The next one we have C in our mRNA. We code for a G in our tRNA. The G would be a C. 
the G would be a C, this A would be a U, U would be an A, C would be a G, C would be a G, G would be a C, and C would be a G. And those would be our anti codons. Our hooks that our tRNA or our tow truck RNA are going to use to pick up those amino acids. So that's how that works.